Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about import data from Excel and CSV. So let's see how can we import data uh, from Excel and CSV. Here I am just going to use Laravel Excel package. So first of all, let's install this package. So switch to the command prompt and here just type the command composer space required space uh, mat website slash excel okay now press enter all right now package has been installed so switch to the project and let's make some configuration so uh, just go inside the config directory then app.php and inside the providers array just add here uh, mat website excel okay and slash excel service provider all right colon colon class and inside the layers array just add here excel and mat uh, website excel plus facade plus excel colon colon class okay now save this file now let's publish the configuration so switch to the command prompt and here uh, just type the command php artisan vendor colon publish dash dash provider is equal to mat website slash excel slash Excel service provider okay now press enter publishing complete now go to the php my admin to so just here new uh, open new tab and just open php my admin and just open database laravel 8 pro db2 and Inside this database, you can see here the employee table. So just browse. All right, you can see here the table is empty. Okay, now let's import a record from CSV and Excel inside this table. Okay, so let's switch to the project. And inside the project, you can see here inside the app directory models, and here you can see the employee model. Okay. Now let's create the import class. Okay, so inside the command prompt, just write here php artisan make uh, colon import a space uh, import class name. Let's say class name is employee import. All right, dash dash set here the model. So just write here model name, which is this one employee okay so just write here employee now press enter all right import class has been created now switch to the project and uh, just open import class so just go inside the app then imports and here just open employee import okay and inside this employee array uh, here just add the column name okay so just write here uh, column name which is name email phone salary department okay so just write here name arrow dollar row and just write here um, name okay now just copy this line and paste here all right now just write here 
email and here email phone also right here phone and then salary and here salary all right and here just add the department all right now save this file and here just add app slash model uh, models okay then slash employee all right this is the correct path of employee model okay now save this file and here just add the with heading row so just write here use mat website excel slash uh, concerns slash with things row okay with heading row all right now just add here comma with heading row all right now save this file now go to the uh, employee model and uh, just open models and uh, employee model and here just add protected dollar key label and create an array here and just add here the column name name email then phone salary and department all right now save this file and uh, now go to the employee controller so just open http then controllers and from here just open employee controller okay and inside this controller let's create a function so just write here public function and uh, create a function for the uh, creating a form import form so just write here import form all right and inside this let's return our view and let's say view name is import form all right now save this file and create routes for this so go to the web.php file inside the routes directory just open web.php and here create a route get add the URI import form all right add here the controller name which is employee controller okay column column class and add here the function name which is this one import form so just copy and paste here now save this file and uh, let's create this uh, view so just copy and go to the view directory uh, let's open resources then views and here just cre uh, create a new file import form dot date dot php all right now here just write bootstrap 5 uh, html5 boilerplate so just write here exclamation sign and press tab now just add here the title import okay import only all right and here uh, first of all let's add the bootstrap 4 cdn so go to the get bootstrap.com now click on get started and from here just copy the CSS and base also and paste here. Alright, now here just add the sex, uh, section 
and also save the, the padding so just write here style padding top 20 pixel uh, 60 pixel all right and now just add the container then row column column empty uh, 6 set the offset offset empty green all right now add here the card then card header and here just add the headings import all right and card body and inside this just add here the form so just type here form and method post all right Pink type Uh, multi part form data and inside this the start here at the rate csrf then uh, create here input uh, field file okay so just write here input field so here first of all add the class form group and create a label for Title, all right, and just add here choose CSV, okay, and input type is equal to file name, that's the name also is a file and class file, okay, class form control formed as control all right now add here submit button so just write here button type is equal to submit and class let's say class is btn btn library all right now close this button and add here a text submit all right now let's check this form so go to the url import form so switch to the browser and just here first of all run the application so just write here php artisan okay now go to the url localhost 8000 slash import form all right now press enter you can see here the import form all right now let's create one more function inside the employee controller so just write here public function import all right and here just pass request dollar request okay and first of all add here uh, use app slash imports slash employee import okay now just write here excel column column import new employee import okay and here just write dollar request arrow all right and return uh, simply return a message records are imported 
successfully. Alright. Now save this file. Now let's add the route for this function. So just go to the web.php and here just add route get and URI with the import just add here the method post right and add the controller name employ controller colon colon class add the function name import right also add here the route name employ dot import right so just copy this route and go to the input form and here just add the action inside this form so just write here action double curly bracket route and just write here employee dot import now save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and here you can see the table is empty now just refresh the page and uh, in my desktop you can see here the csv file and these are the records okay and in excel employee list.excel file you can see here the record okay so now let's import these records inside the table so just click on browse and browse the file from the desktop just select employee list.csv file and now click on open and just click on submit you can see here records are imported successfully now go to the php my admin and just refresh the table and you can see here the record okay now just remove all the record just delete yes now this is empty okay now let's import from the excel so just go to the import as form page and here just click on browse and this time just select the employee list dot xlsx file okay excel file and just click on open now click on submit okay imported and just refresh the table and you can see here the records okay So in this way you can import a data from CSV and Excel in Laravel 8. So that's all about import data from CSV and Excel. So thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.